Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today I'm going to be showing you how to quickly model glasses and plates and basically use a handy little tool called converting NURBS into polys. The first thing we need to do is create an outline using a curve. So I'm going to go to Create, EP Curve Tool, and I'm just going to basically just kind of click and drag and just make a quick little cup like so, and then press Enter. Now what's important here is actually where the pivot point is. So I will demonstrate that in a second, but I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna go to my control vertices and grab these guys and just kind of squash them together so that they're actually aligned. Right click object mode. Basically just go ahead and hit revolve. Revolve is under surfaces and it looks like a little cups right here. And what's gonna happen is that it's gonna use this curve and create a cup. The fun thing about this is that I can grab this and move it to the side and if I feel like maybe this cup is a little short I can always go to my control vertices grab a chunk of them and just elongate it. It's still being connected by the curve. The next thing is to convert it into polygons. To do that I'm going to go to modify convert NURBS to poly and then go to the options. I highly recommend that you, you can mess around with this, but the best way to convert this into polygons is actually control points. So grab control points and then tessellate. And what you're gonna get is a cup. So you can see that my uh, cup is actually very um, sharp. If I press the number three, I can go ahead and soften that edge. And another thing you'll notice is that it's black. The normals have been reversed. So I'm gonna select the cup. I'm gonna go to normals reverse and now we can recognize our nice cup. Again if you grab the control vertices and let's say you are not happy with it you can see that I can actually manipulate the geometry even though the cup has already been built and converted. However if I don't want to have that connection with the curve I can always just delete the history so edit delete by type history and now when I grab the curve control vertices it will only affect the nerves but it won't affect the cup. Okay so let me show you another example new scene and this time I'm gonna create a plate. So again, just go to the side view, create EP curve tool, and this time I'm gonna create the plate from here. So it's just gonna be a very simple plate. You're more than welcome to go ahead and spend as much time as you need to, um, to make this plate look great. Notice where the pivot point is. If I go ahead and select this and revolve it, you're gonna see that it actually does create the plate, but you can also see that it has a hole in it. And that's because the revolve is based on that pivot point. So if I undo this, Control Z, let me snap it to the edge of this curve, and then hit revolve, you're gonna see that now I have a plate. I have my plate selected, I'm going to go to modify, convert, NURBS to poly, options. Again, make sure control points is selected, tessellate, and then move it aside. Press the number three, Again, if it's black, you just have to reverse your normals. So go to normals, reverse, and there you go. So now you can go ahead and kind of tweak it. Maybe grab that vertex and... All right, so we have this little black dot here, and the reason why is because there's a lot of polys there. So I'm just going to merge it. So I'm going to grab my vertices, and then I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Merge Components, and you can see that now it is one poly, and I can move it around. And that's how you can quickly create an object using a curve, then revolve it, and then converting it into polygons. So hopefully that was helpful. Don't forget to like my videos if you find them helpful. And don't forget to also subscribe to my channel. Okay, guys, I will see you next time.